What's up guys, we got a super exciting video for you today. We've got IND Styles G82 M4, freshly built, about to debut at Car Week. But before it goes off to Car Week with the guys from Eventuri, it's here at Studio RSR to uh, put some new development products from CSF. We're gonna show you a bit of the process and you guys will get a first look at all the new CSF products available for the G82 and the G80. Ravi and the other guys from CSF should be here in a couple hours. So we're gonna start tearing down IND's car uh, just to get a head start and give us as much time as possible. Yeah, let's get going. Let me move this around. Run it up, Byron, go crazy. Oh my God, dude. This build is so nice. Let's go see under the hood what Cody's gonna have to work with. First of all, this hood is something I definitely want. So look at this. This is straight out of a uh, GT endurance racing and it looks very functional and it's super light. Oh, <laughs> hey Cody. Yeah, I gotta find my angle grinder. Did you see what you have to, yeah, so. Development product on full carbon. Don't worry, we got it. All right guys, so we're about halfway. We took the stock manifold out of the IND G82. And fortunately we've got Ravi, the owner of CSF here, kind of show you guys all the different features of this amazing product. But dude, I put this on the table. It's so heavy duty. Yeah, you know, I mean, the part itself is, uh, it's a pretty big manifold, mm -hmm. right? We've tried to, uh, you know, to, you know, be able yeah. to give every track guy, every drag guy, anybody doing competitive motorsports, like, like that edge of like, hey, you are putting a part that's in the car, but as lightweight as possible. And that's why we yeah. went to a full billet design and yeah. we went to the most ultra lightweight core that we could possibly source in the world from our strategic manufacturing partner who is PWR. Uh, they're the company that supplies all the F1 cars. Yeah. Uh, they're the ones who make us our core for our super manifold, which is, you know, one of the best in class. Yes. And, you know, all that performance and everything with it, uh, I think we have a really good solution for all the G80 guys. For sure. uh, you know, I just got back from MPAC last week and I couldn't tell you, you know, the number of guys who came to me and said, hey, I'm, I'm now tuned mm -hmm. and I've blown my stock manifold that has like a crimp yep. gasket. So um, this is really going to be a good solution for all of those guys. You're going to get yep. better durability, higher boost pressure and better performance. What's been amazing to see firsthand, you know, we tested out the prototype on our in-house G80 and uh, what's cool is going through the process is that every detail is accounted for. You know, not only like, oh, where does this need to go or where does this bracket need to go, but uh, Ravi and the team at CSF go to the point of thinking about like, hey, if this, if they have an issue, are they going to be able to to take this off at the track and just fix something on the fly. And these guys are thinking about things like that and have the consumer in mind. Absolutely, I mean, you know, our business is based off our relationships with R&D partners and race teams just like yourself, yeah. right? And uh, that's why we love coming here to work with you guys at Studio RSR is because, you know, you're actively at the track almost every weekend racing yeah. and you're giving us the feedback and we need to be able to make this, not because it looks good on in in the internet yeah. and it looks good in the car, but like it's for competitive motorsports. Can someone service this? If like, you know, an injector goes bad. Can they take the rail off? Yeah. Can they service on the track? Or are they going to be at a point where they're like, dude, I have to take this entire part out of the car. Exactly. Like your track day is done at that point, right? Exactly. You can't do that. So we really think about that and we're always evolving. We're always trying to make our parts better. This being our new Halo product, we really wanted to put everything we possibly could from our engineering and technical background to make a best in class product. Uh, you can't really see, but if you see this in person, um, it's amazing. So the quality is upfront. It's Another interesting part is this this new little blue piece that we haven't seen on a lot of CSF products lately. No, so this is our new uh, patent and technology uh, heat rejection um, spacer. Right, so it, be, it creates a thermal barrier between the aluminum cylinder head mm -hmm. and the aluminum billet intake uh, cylinder flange. Got it. And what that does, especially for guys who are doing competitive motorsports, specifically guys who are doing like drag racing or rural racing, mm -hmm. when they're in the staging lanes and their car is stagnant and you're not getting a lot of airflow through the front exchangers, yeah. you're not getting cold water or the heat 
exchange of cold water through the cooler yeah. and your car starts to heat soak and literally you're just transferring the heat from the cylinder head back and forth through the manifold. Yeah. So this really absorbs all of this and this isn't just some like MDF board plastic or yeah. like wood or anything else that anybody else is using. We went to an aerospace grade company to give us Kyle X. This is patented technology. We're the exclusive uh, supplier for B58 and S58 manifolds. Mm -hmm. And this thing that we saw on Supra customers who were doing roll race events like at Pocono in the summer about a month ago, yeah. dropped over 50 degrees from your starting intake air temps. I mean, it's a massive You're drop. About dropping 50 degrees, just a, a change from stock. Yes, yeah. so from the, and that's from a customer who was using a CSF manifold mm -hmm. to then adding this into the program. That's amazing. He was getting 50 degrees lower starting intake air temps. Just from this piece. Just from that piece being used. Yeah. And this is not like any other spacer that you've seen out there. I mean, these are not cheap to make. Yeah. Um, we really had to go through our Rolodex of like really high level suppliers that are yeah. working with very high grade, you know, aerospace level type exactly. companies. And uh, we're really proud of this. Awesome. Yeah, well, I'm looking forward to getting ours on our G80. Uh, today, like you guys are seeing, we're, we've got IND Styles amazing G82 M4 build. So stay tuned, we're gonna get this in there and then uh, we'll show you more. Procedure, no check engine lights. Ravi and the guys from CSF just brought over a paint matched BRG engine cover. So we're put, just putting that on right now. I've got the uh, data logging system set up. So Ravi and I are gonna go uh, data log the car, make sure everything's running well. Before we put the CSF upgrades on my car, on the G80, we're gonna do a stock uh, comparison off of that too. So do I use the harnesses or the seatbelt? I think I'm gonna go harnesses. And it's at the top. We're good. Look at that. It's not taking it's nice. Yeah. He's not even touching it. Oh, you are touching it. No. Yeah. I thought you were holding <laughs> your head. Wow, well, look at that. <laughs> That's not even bad. For sitting still, like we we hit like almost all the red lights. It was like, but it was good. It was it was heat soaking like that. That's what the space was for. Yeah. Well, we started when we got in the car. It was already what 60, 65, 60, 60 C. Yeah. So that was already 140 degrees. Yeah. As we were bidding on it, it came down to like 49 C. Yeah. So that dropped another 20 degrees. So that's like that's we're basically 20 degrees above ambient. Yeah. At that point, you're at 95 degrees outside. Yeah. You're running 120 degrees. You take air temps. That's about right. All right. Turn it off so you guys can hear. But uh, we just got back from doing the data log with Ravi. So uh, yeah, everything checks out. Technically, your fourth time installing one of these correct yeah so we've had like a bunch of revisions and then this is the technically the first production piece going on to ind's car so uh everything's good with what the full think? coolant bleed everything and but what about installing it a couple vacuum lines that are a little uh inaccessible if you pull up the manifold you're able to get to it no problems the inventory intakes uh made it a little bit difficult but with stock factory uh, intakes it's pretty straightforward pretty easy it's definitely not something i would or we would recommend like your at-home diyer to uh, try out just because there's so many not like numerous things but there's a lot of very small details that are detrimental or crucial to how the car runs so if you crack a vacuum hose or a water line or a fitting then you know you have to wait to get those parts instead of being able to enjoy your new manifold right off the bat. So we're definitely going to recommend doing a professional install on these. We did help with the engineers at CSF and Ravi to put in as many details in, of the instructions as possible to help if you do end up doing it at home at, in your garage. Uh, even things as detailed as like, you know, how to take a clip off or stuff like that. So we'll be doing part two of this series and we want to give a special thank you to the guys at CSF and to everyone at IND for letting us work on the car. So excited to see it debut at Monterey Car Week. We'll see you guys in the next one.